Hello friends, I'm Subhashni here. Today I'm going to make uh, Karela, the bitter gourd or pavaka, uh, porucha korambu, yeah, korambu, for which I have taken one Karela. Mm, and I will roast the red chilies. I have taken about uh, six red chilies and one tablespoon of pepper and good amount of asafoetida solid and uh, as I used to keep telling that uh, uh, on looking at these two I will be able to guess how much of tamarind I will be using so this is one say or three fourth or one size of a lemon size or if you are going to use paste you can use less than half a teaspoon of one third tablespoon of tamarind paste and then uh, I will for, for the masala I mean for the masalas what I am going to use fry is uh, the red chilies, the pepper, the uh, asafoetida, the channa dal, the dhu dal and udit dal, each one one tablespoon or something one tablespoon or three fourth tablespoon each okay and a very good amount of curry leaves first I will put some oil, sesame oil and or ghee I can use either ghee or I can use both or I can use only sesame oil then I will fry the red chilies, the pepper, the asafoetida and the dals, all the three dals. I will fry and roast it very nicely. I will see that this comes more than a pinkish color. Then after that comes to a pinkish color, I will add the curry leaves also and fry them <coughs> and keep aside. But, uh, before that I will be cutting the karelas. You can do with sundeka also, the fresh sundeka. You, uh, you have to just temper and add the fresh sundeka, I mean temper and uh, fry these fresh sundekas and you can, uh, if not if you can use sundeka vattal also for which when you, you have to just uh, temper it and uh, add that sundeka vattal and add the ground uh, fried and ground mixed masalas to that and uh, by adding the tamarind way. The method is exactly the same way for all these three except that you have to pre-cook your, your, you have to cook your karelas, the bitter gourd before. So since the bitter gourds are bitter, I would like to cook this in tamarind water. I will add some little bit of tamarind paste, say a quarter teaspoon of tamarind paste and add some one, one and a half glass of water and I'll, with salt I will cook it and keep it aside. I will remove the water and take the karelas out so that the bitterness gets out from the karela. Then I will temper, add this uh, cooked karelas, then add the mixture and then finish it. Make it to a boil for say 2-3 minutes and then finish it. So let me start. I am going to cut the karelas. like to cut the curry last. If there is seed, you should remove the seed also. There is no seed inside so I don't have to take. You can even add co coconuts with the masalas but I normally don't add coconuts with it. See there are some seeds, I can remove that.
I am going to cook this in the microwave oven for about say 10 minutes. And I close this and cook with some salt and tamarind paste in it. You can add good amount of salt since I am going to throw the water out after it is cooked. Just this much I am taking. You can use uh, tamarind extract also by soaking it in water. Okay, I will cook this for about 10 minutes. So by the meantime, let us fry all those dolls. I am going to close this and cook in the microwave for about 10 minutes. I am going to fry for the masalas. I am adding say one third a tablespoon of ghee. I am putting my red chilies, say about six. I will soak this tamarind in hot water and take an extract of say about 400 450 ml of water from that. That is a two glass of water. Put the uh, supported as also. Roast. I'll put all the three dals: the tuar dal, chana dal, and the wadi dal. put curry leaves I 
want this dal to be nicely roasted and you can see the chilies are getting popped up very well okay now it just has come to a pinkish color and add the curry leaves now very good amount of curry leaves should add so much i'm adding even more you can add the heat what is there in the pan is enough for this curry leaves so the dal also have come pinkish color so i will cool it cool it down then add it in the mixer and grind it very finely into a fine paste So in the same pan, I will temper and add those cooked carayolas, and even I can even add a turmeric powder to that while tempering. 